سلام علیکم هلو نمسته هله and درود to all of you my colleagues dear friends and our child with midwife and um, doula I'm so happy that we could spend 22 days in different topics of improving midwifery skill, especially in antenatal classes. As you know, antenatal classes has a big role, an important role for um, improving mothers uh, competent in her pregnancy, delivery, birth, and postnatal. So if we run these prenatal classes, According uh, the proper uh, methods, we will have a satisfied mother's husband and good result in birth and postnatal, especially lactation time. I hope all of the midwife, childbed educators, and doulas uh, they work on this skill and keep it on their mind that how to improve our skills and communication with our expectant parents and make this happen in proper innovative way according to culture and beliefs of the place that we are providing the services. Our 22 days uh, study together, I was trying to share some of my experience in different countries that we had for antenatal classes. Um, according uh, my um, experience and my um, leading in uh, different cultures, especially Asian and um, European culture, I found it at the start very tough, very tough for expectant parents. But if you start to make these classes arrange according the couple's uh, needs and requires, you will get more uh, and very speed result from your classes. As you know, uh, uh, most couples they want uh, sessions that cover a variety of topics from pregnancy to birth to feeding and postnatal caring for the babies and looking after themselves. They need a leader, they need a midwife, they need a childbirth educator that helps them in all of these difficult and new experience uh, times. Uh, but they have different way of communication. They cannot uh, tell all of their needs in the first class. That's why they do not just one class. They want a class not to be rushed. And they can get their answer of their question in each class. They always want to be a part of a small groups that they can make friends. They are not very happy with big group of training and they like to spend time and enjoy with their partner plus reduce their fear and anxiety in that time and get a new energetic friend and get their answer of questions. They do not want huge number of classes because they do not feel able to ask questions and cannot interact with other people. You can make the duration of your classes for one to two hours. If you want to extend it, I told you the trick of that. You have to try to make a small break in between and make it with different variety of activity to make it more attractive for them. What else I was uh, explaining in previous session that I want again to make it refresh in our conclusion is that they want a group leader to use up-to-date videos and teaching materials and aid 
to help them to prepare them for labor, birth, and parenting in the in this 21st century. They need some material and some uh, signposts that help them anytime they found a help, they are looking for help or information, they go through that. And yes, the videos and all of the animations that you show them, maybe they can find it through all YouTube channels. But the way you are presenting, the way you are explaining is different. Maybe sometimes they can find many information and these video clips from different social media. But it's not always very clear for them to understand and be very comprehensive. It is the art and it is the skill of you, midwife, leader and childbirth educator. How to be innovative in adult learning training. As you know, mothers and fathers are very quick to spot poor facility, facilitation skills and bias teaching. This places a requirement upon midwife lecturers to ensure that their students acquire group skills during their pre-registration or post-registration programs. But you know, the best class at the view of father, mother, and mothers, what could be? What do you think? Can you find it? The best class according to your father and mother's view in your place. Thank you for your wave. Thank you so much. Thank you, Farhana. Yeah. They are looking for some classes and uh, they found best classes how they found it where the classes are where the facilitator respect their right to make up their own minds about what they want in labor and how they will care for their babies they found it very good class the best class yeah, because we were trying to make their classes from middle of pregnancy till at least three to six months after birth. So they need this facilitated always to be welcoming and answer their question. The most important is welcome question. It is very important things that make the class the best for them. And the best class at the view of father or mother can be the class that provides lots of opportunity for talking. As we told you, in adult learning class, they are not very happy to sit long time and hear to your words. Only 10 minutes at the start of the class will be useful. After 10 minutes, they are not very happy to hear. And this talking make friendship for them. This talking opportunity reduce their fear and anxiety. And they can share their experience and knowledge with each other. Plus, they will make you to make your class more dynamic and active. And this class at the view of um, in the view of mothers or fathers is the class provide information in the way that empower mothers and fathers rather than frightening them. Fight, uh, sorry, frightening them. Because they want to be encouraged, they want to be competent, they want to get uh, more energy and try to solve their problems and their future issues. They don't want to be scared, they don't want to be a, uh, they have fear. They come to you because they want to trust you. They want to give guidance from you. Yeah. They come to prenatal classes to midwife because they found it. It makes them more hopeful. Sometimes if they go to some gynecologist doctors, they come very sad. They come back sad and they say, 
you know, they gave us very hopeless uh, messages. He says, okay, you should go for cesarean or I don't have time to answer to your question or maybe I am not normal. I have many questions in my mind. I don't know if this complication and this change happening in my pregnancy, how I have come through that. And they bring a big prescription and say, see, this prescription came from my gynecologist doctor. I have something... Uh, abnormal maybe in my body maybe I have some abnormality with my baby especially when they get some prescription for a screening test and for their some ultrasound checkup they're so scared they come to you to you as a midwife and say I'm very worried till this uh, screening test comes result comes I will die I was thinking maybe my baby would would not be happy would not be healthy and so maybe something wrong happened for me and my baby and how much I should be wait to hear the positive result or safe report so this is the role of midwife in these antenatal classes that you can explain to them about the normal situation that happened to everybody and this lab test and scan can be done for everybody there is no risk and there is no fear in that make them calm quiet and make them confident don't be in stress and the best class at the view of fathers or mother are the class is structured responsive and uh, be very open to their individual needs and make them relax and with fun yeah because they are tired some of them coming back from their work and they are so exhausted when they come to this class they should find this class very different and very you know, optimistic class they, will, they would love it and they feel at least they get fresh they get a good positive thoughts and message from you and your team so they will come again for their next coming session thank you everybody um, we reached to this conclusion and I hope um, you follow us in our YouTube channel our YouTube channel is Lily Mom Center LMC Please, if you like this session, follow us in uh, our YouTube, social media and YouTube channel and share with your friend. Please press subscribe bell and follow us. Tomorrow night, we have a fantastic midwife from Afghanistan. As you hear, unfortunately, these previous days news make us so much sad about what a cruel psychopath people attacked to these Afghan mothers and newborn baby in the hospital in Kabul and they killed 18 mothers and two newborn and midwives. It was so sad news and we are going to invite one of midwife, one of supervisor uh, in Afghanistan Midwifery Association that she was I witnessed in that time one brave midwife, Mrs. Ibrahimi. She will join us tomorrow, the same time, and she will come here as a live Facebook. We will explain what's happening, what happened there, and how um, these psychopath people attack to these innocent mothers and babies. Hope to see you tomorrow, 10 p.m. IST in this time, and uh, hear from Mrs. Paddy Ebrahimi. If you let me, I can speak some words in Persian because our Afghan midwives and other Farsi language midwives, they want to hear some in Persian, please. Thank you for bearing and thank you for hearing me out. Salam dostane azizam, shabetun bekhir. براتون این شب های عزیز آرزوی بهترین ها دارم و التماس دعا دارم در شب قدر هستیم شبی که برای همه ما برای نزدیک شدن به خدا نزدیک شدن به اون منبعی که به ما آرامش میده یک شب خاصه امیدوارم تو این شب های عزیز من رو و گروه و تیمم رو از این دعای خیر بی نصیب نگذاریم
بحثی که ما توی چندین جلسه گذشته داشتیم یه حدود 22 جلسه ما در رابطه با مدیریت کلاس های بارداری در دوران بارداری خانم ها صحبت کردیم از اهمیت این کلاس ها گفتیم که چقدر مهم میگه یک ماما بتونه این کلاس های دوران بارداری رو به بهترین وجه مدیریت کنه چون نتایج و آتکامی که این مراقبت های درست آموزش ها داده میشه اون میزان اهمیتش در افزایش آگاهی زوجه و همچنین بالا بردن میزان اطمینان و توانمندیشون در مدیریت دوره بارداری زایمان و داشتن نتایج خوب در دوران پس از زایمان و شیردهی و مراقبت از نوزادشون است. شاید هنوز در بعضی از کشورها کلاس های دوران بارداری خیلی جا نیفتاده باشه و شاید هنوز خیلی کار ببره تا مردم ما به اهمیت این کلاس ها واقف بشن. اما زوجه اینی که به این درصد از علم و فرهنگ رسیده که میتونه با این کلاس ها میتونه کمک کنه به داشتن آینده خوبی هم برای خودش هم برای فرزندش این کلاس ها رو دنبال میکنن و از مزایای اون منتفع میشن و این خودش باعث میشه که زوجهای دیگر هم از این افراد موفق پیروی بکنن آنچه که خیلی مهم هست این هستش که مادران ما دوست ندارن با یک کلاس ساده کلاس بارداریشون تموم بشه اونها دوست دارن کلاس ها ادامه دار باشه عرض کردم دیشب بهتون ما توصیه میکنیم کلاس ها رو از عوازت بارداری شروع بکنیم و تا سه تا شیش ماه بعد از زایمان ادامه بدیم همچنین هر سیشن و هر قسمتی باید یک سری از مطالب متنوع رو از بارداری، زایمان، شیردهی، مراقبت از کودک و مراقبت از خود رو برای مادر و پدر بگه با مدل های مختلف و انواع مختلف بیان ها و آموزش ها مادران و پدران ما نمیخوان فقط یک کلاس عجله ای رو داشته باشن و نتونن پاسخ سوالاتشون رو دریافت کنن. اونا میخوان توی کلاس با حوصله بهشون پاسخ داده بشه. اونا میخوان که توی گروه های کوچک شرکت بکنن و بتونن دوستی ایجاد کنن روابط دوستی کلاس های بزرگ طولانی باعث میشه از هم فاصله بگیرن و اون حس سمیمیت و دوستی رو نتونن با افراد گروه ایجاد کنن اونها دوست دارن که کلاس ها جوری باشه که بتونن اینترکت کوئسشن داشته باشن یعنی بتونن در تعامل باشن با هم دیگه برای سوالات و پاسخ هاشون یعنی بتونن به راحتی با هم تبادل نظر بکنن و خودشون مشارکت فعال در کلاس ها داشته باشن همچنین کلاس هایی که خانواده ها و زوج های عزیز علاقه مند هستن معمولا کلاس هایی هستش که دوست دارن که اون لیدر و یا مربی کلاس به ویدیو های بروز و روش های آموزشی جدید استفاده بکنه و بتونه اونها رو خیلی راحت با تکنیک ها و متود های جدیدی بر اساس حال قرن 21 بتونه با مفاد و موضوعات بارداری و زایمان آموزش بده خب خیلی مهمه که مادرها و پدرها کلاس های ما رو راضی باشن و این رضایت اونها باعث میشه که بتونن زوج های دیگری ها هم دعوت بکنم بهترین کلاس از دیدگاه یک پدر و مادر کلاسی هستش که اون مربی کلاس مربی ماما بتونه خیلی سریع به سوالاتشون پاسخ بده و اون احترام رو براشون قائل بشه و آن چیزی که اونها برای بارداری زایمان و لحظه لیبر لازم دارن رو به خوبی براشون با احترام توضیح بده اونا اینجور کلاس ها رو خیلی براشون ارزشمنده مخصوصا اینکه اون ماما بتونه به اون سوالات به اون دقدقه ها به اون نگرانی های اونها پاسخ بده کلاس های دیگه که خیلی میتونه برای زوجین و برای خانواده علاقه من باشه این هستش که خیلی پاسخگوی سوالاتشون باشن ولکام کنه سوالاتشون رو یعنی هر سوالی شب شبه و یا ابهامی دارن اینها پاسخگو باشین براشون اما دیگه چی کلاس هایی که برای پدران و مادران علاقه مند هستن و خوب حساب میشه کلاس هایی هستش که <تصفح> 
کلاس هایی هستش که اونها حس کنن وقتی میان توی این کلاس این پاور شدن توانمند شدن به جایی که احساس ترس نگرانی و ضعف بهشون داده بشه چون بعضی از این خانواده های عزیز میرن پیش همکاران متخصصین ما ویزیت میشن ولی با استراب برمیگردن من بسیار مادرهایی داشتم که وقتی که از پیش متخصص ویزیت متخصص برگشته با گریه و چشم گریان اومده پیش من و گفته که این جواب آزمایشم رو گفته چی معلوم نیست این جواب سونوگرافیت معلوم نیست و جز ترس نگرانی و ناراحتی در این مادر چیزی نمونده یه قربالگری ساده که میخوان برن انقدر استراب دارن که آیا جواب قربالگریمون خوب میاد یا نه و حتی گاهی اوقات جواب ها جواب هایی هستش که خیلی نگران کننده نیست ولی همکار ما گاهی اوقات یک استراب های اضافی رو به مادر و پدر میده تا جواب قطعی بیاد پس وظیفه ما اینه که اونها رو به جای اینکه که بترسونیم توانمندشون کنیم کلاس خوب از نظر یک پدر و مادر در حال انتظار این هستش که خوب استراکچر شده باشه خوب برنامه ریزی شده باشه خوب تنظیم شده باشه و تمام نیازهای انفرادیشون رو پاسخ بده آرومشون کنه و خوشحالشون کنه و فان باشه شادی باشه خوشحالی باشه توش نه خستنگ های قد از سر کار میان حوصله ندارن باید دو ست روی سندلی رو بشینن ولی ما باید انقدر نوع این کلاس رو تنظیم کنیم که در این حال که داریم به نیازها و احتیاجاتشون پاسخ میدیم اونها رو ریلکس کنه آروم کنه و شادشون کنه و یه جور فان باشه امیدوارم که این دوره 22 جلسه مورد استقبالتون واقع شده باشه امیدوارم اگر خوشتون اومده استفاده کردین برای ما حتما بفرمایید اگر براتون مفید بوده لطفا با دوستاتون به اشتراک بذارین ما رو در کانال یوتیوب لیلی مام سنتر ال ام سی دنبال کنین و دکمه دکمه عضویت رو بزنین و لطفا شیر کنین فردا شب ما یک لایوی خواهیم داشت همین ساعت با یک مامای قهرمان و توانمند از افغانستان متاسفانه این وقای اخیر افغانستان بسیار غمناک بود بسیار فاجعه بود و کشته شدن 18 مادر دو نوزاد و ماماهای عزیز خدمت گذار فاجعه این بود که قلب همه ما رو به درد آورد و ما فردا شب انشاءالله این ساعت از یکی از این ماماهایی که ناظر و شاهد این فاجعه بوده دعوت کردیم که در لایف بیاد و این موضوع رو برای شما به صورت زنده که دیده تعریف کنه امیدوارم ما تا اونجا که میتونیم کمک این عزیزان بکنیم من به شخصه و گروه لیلی مام سعی میکنیم با آموزش های رایگان و زبان فارسی کمک این عزیزان از راه دور بکنیم که این حداقل کمک ما هست ولی امیدواریم که انشاءالله بتونیم خدمت بیشتری در و مناسب تری برای این دوستان و عزیزان زحمت کش در اون بحران و در اون شرایط نام داشته باشیم متشکرم عزیزانم فردا شب با خانم ابراهیمی ساعت ده شب به وقت هندوستان و نه شب به وقت ایران در خدمتتون خواهیم بود امیدوارم که به ما جوین بشین متصل بشین و دوستان عزیزتون هم اطلاع رسانی کنیم شب خوبی داشته باشین خدا یار و نگهدارتون Thank you everybody for being my Farsi talking Thank you for following us Thank you for sharing our life with your friends Thank you for your love and support. Have a great day ahead. See you tomorrow with one brave and powerful midwife from Afghanistan and hear her eyewitness story what happened in past previous days in hospital for innocent women and babies in Afghanistan. Thank you so much. Have a great day ahead. Khuda Hafiz.